simplify. This is what you are given. Simplify. These are typical cases that you're going to have on exponents. As long as you're working with exponents, you need to know these types of questions. So the first part, we are given simplify this, and that is two marks for everything. All right, let us see what you are supposed to consider there. That is x squared times uh, 2x to the power of 3, uh, 5x to the power of 4, that is to the exponent of a 4. So this is a product, meaning to say you're multiplying these, and whenever there is the number that is not shown, that is invisible, you must know that there is a 1. So what does it mean? We can multiply these numbers together. Then we move on to the part of x. There's x, there's x, there's x there, which is the best, which is the same. Not forgetting that once the bases are the same, you are going to use the laws of exponents. Provided that the bases are the same, you're supposed to use the laws of exponents. x to the exponent of a, when multiplying x to the exponent of b, because the bases are the same, you add the exponents. You are multiplying, you add these. So multiply, add, divide. What do you do? You subtract. When it is a division, you will subtract the exponents. So this is the idea that you're simply having. So you're going to multiply 1 times a 2 times a 5. So 1 times 2, that's a 2 times a 5, that's a 10. So this will give us 10. You put the x as it is. You see, there was x here, yeah, there was x. But now it's a single x. It's just one x that you have there. So you just write this as one x. Then you add these numbers. 2 plus a 3, all right? 2 plus a 3, that's a 5. Plus 4, that is going to be a 9. So you add the exponents x to the exponent 2 plus a 3 plus a 4. So if you add this, that's a 5 plus this, that's a 9. So this is what we're supposed to have at the end. That's the laws of exponents. All right. Let us consider the second question, which is on number i there, this one. So that's a product that we are given. Again, we are supposed to use our laws. We are given 2a to the exponent of 3, which is multiplying those times, uh, 3ab to the exponent of 2. And this whole bracket is going to multiply minus 3a to the exponent of 2, b to the uh, everything to the exponent of 2 like this. So there are so many things that you need to consider here. One, the product that we have inside of this bracket. There's, there's a bracket there, but inside of the bracket or inside of this bracket, there is a product. So considering what you talked about, if the number is not shown, in it, is an, in it is a one when it is invisible like that, whether it's on the exponent, whether it's on the multiplication, meaning to say A, there is an exponent there, which is a one. So you consider that you're going to multiply the numbers together, two times a three. So let's multiply two times a three, that's a six. The moment you work with A, you are multiplying the bases, which are the same on A. So what do you do? You add the exponents, just like this part, A plus a B under the same A. So that will be a to the exponent of 3 plus a 1. That is going to be a 4. You add the exponents. b to the exponent of 2 is not affected by anything. We do not have another b here. So it is just going to remain as b to the exponent of 2. All right. Then we are going to multiply this to whatever that you're going to have from this bracket. And considering that, Whenever you see this condition of a negative being raised, whenever you see a negative number like this raised to an even power or an even exponent, this number will change to be a positive. But if you see this negative when raised to an odd number such as 1, 3, 5, and so on, those numbers you will remain with a negative. But as long as you raise to an even number, you talk of 2, 4, 6, 8, it will change to be a positive. So that means a negative, when raised to this even number, it is going to change to be a positive. So it's going to be a positive. So remember the concept of a bracket. Everything will be raised to the exponent of this power that is outside. 
So meaning to say we are going to simply multiply. Remember, minus was raised to a negative. It's now a positive. You can just leave it like that. All right, let's go to three. Three, there is one. There is a two there. So it's like this. Three to the exponent of one to the exponent of two. So you multiply one times two, which is three to the exponent of two. The same thing on A, there's an exponent of two. So you multiply to these two. Two times two, that is A to the exponent of four. On B, there's a one there. So you multiply one times two, that is gonna be B to the exponent of two. So as you have noticed that this exponent, it affects everything that is inside of the bracket when it is like that. So you can simplify this stage. All right, so this is six, uh, a to the exponent of four, b to the exponent of two, which is multiplying. So you can even indicate a multiplication. That's a positive three squared. That is three times three. Remember three times three, that is gonna be a nine. Uh, that is a to the exponent of four, b to the exponent of a two. So on this stage, you are back again to the bases, which are the same. So on the numbers, just multiply. 9 times uh, 6 times 9, that is going to be a 54. But on the bases now, which are the same, what are we going to do when the bases are the same? We are back now. The part of A to the part of A, we are multiplying, and these bases are the same. So you're simply going to add your exponents. This is 4, this is 4. So meaning to say this is going to be A to the exponent of 4 plus 4, which is 8. The same thing on this B that we are having. The bases are the same. So what are we going to do? Add the exponents, 2 plus 2, that is a 4. So this is how our answer was going to be like at the end. So as we can see, there's nothing that we can do at this stage. They want you to use your laws of exponents. Wherever it is necessary, use the laws of exponents. All right, so that was actually four marks on this question. Let us consider the other part of our question. We were given 5p to the exponent of 3, and there's nothing, it's just a bracket. Another bracket, p to the exponent of 4, q to the exponent of 3, everything raised to the exponent of 2. All right, so this is it. Then everything that we are having here is over 10p uh, q to the exponent of a 3. So how are we going to simplify this? Take note, this first bracket that we are having is not affected by anything. It is not affected by any exponent. There is nothing here, just like there's an exponent of one. So everything is just gonna remain as it is. If we raise five to the exponent of one is just gonna be five. This and one is just gonna remain as p to the exponent of three. But in this bracket, you will see that there is an exponent which is there of two. That is going to affect every exponent. Remember what I said, exponent to an exponent, you multiply. So that is gonna be P to the exponent of four times two, which is eight. Exponent to an exponent, you multiply. So that is gonna be Q to the exponent of three times two, which is a six. Everything that we are having is going to be given as 10 P Q to the exponent of a three. So this is what you are going to have. So we simplified this bracket, but by expanding this bracket, we can see also that there is something to be simplified in the numerator. And what is it in the numerator? We have the P and the P, the basis, which are the same, again, under a multiplication. So that means we are going to add our exponents as well. So this will be 5p to the exponent to add 3 plus 8. So 3 plus 8, that is going to give us 11. And thus we've got q to the exponent of 6, everything over 10p, q to the exponent of a 3. So we can divide these numbers that we are given uh, by 5, which is the highest common factor, 5 into 5, that's a 1, into 10, that's a 2. So if you move on to the p, we are dividing the bases that are the same. We are dividing. This is a division. So you are going to subtract the exponent. This is a 1. So that's 11 minus 1, which is going to be, which is going to be given as p to the exponent of a 10. So what we simply have is that on the numerator, we are going to be left with p to the exponent of a 10. Let's move on to q. We do the same thing on q. You are dividing. So you are going to subtract the exponents, six 
minus 3. So that is q to the exponent of 6 minus 3, which is q to the exponent of 3. So you are also having uh, q to the exponent of 3 in the numerator. Everything over what this is already cancelled, so you are just left with a 2. This is how these questions are going to be given. You need to work with more questions so that you do understand how to simplify these typical questions. So we shall have more questions like this from Amazon African Motives. So do the right thing by subscribing to this channel so that you won't miss any of the classes that we shall have from Amazon African Motives. Till we meet again.